Well, so listen, we all wanted to hear in particular what Dick Fold was going to say about Lehman Brothers. He got started saying a little bit about how he got his start at Lehman Brothers. Remember back in 1969, he spoke about Lehman's decision to go from uh, just being a fixed income trading house into a full universal investment bank. He spoke a little bit about what he thought made Lehman Brothers one of the great Wall Street banks. And he said the key differentiator was really the culture. Everybody was a team player. There was no turf. Uh, he also said this was a little bit interesting, and this got a lot of uh, follow on Twitter, he said that people talk about Lehman Brothers didn't have adequate risk management. He said, look, I had 27,000 risk managers in the form of employees because all of my employees held stock in one way or another and essentially uh, acted like shareholders. Uh, he also then later said, but please respect the fact that I don't want to talk about Lehman Brothers and then finish it up by finally saying, by the way, Lehman Brothers was not bankrupt in September 2008. Olivia, why is he saying this now? Talk to me about the timing of this. So it's a, it's a great question. We're all trying to figure out why does Dick Fold want to suddenly go public talking at a penny stock conference After in After he's been so quiet for so long. Remember, a little bit of that was for the first couple of years. There was a little bit of legal overhang sure. over him. Sure. That's gone away. He says, I thought it was time, time for me to raise my ugly head. He says, please understand, not a day goes by that I do not think about Lehman Brothers. Not a day, as I say, that I have to move on. He was asked uh, why he's going back into business when he was responsible. He was the man in charge for basically the largest bankruptcy of a bank ever. He said, bite me in a joking manner. He said he didn't have a choice but to come back to business. Remember, Bill Cohen said this was about redemption. He says, I didn't think I had an option. My squash isn't good enough to do anything with it. I have a team, and we love to build businesses. So he's 69 years old. He is back in the game. He made a couple jokes at the end. He quoted Rocky. He said it's very easy to look back and coulda, woulda, shoulda. He said if he could do anything differently, he would have bought himself a time machine. Uh, he also said his 96-year-old mother loves him and he's going to donate his speaker fees to charity. What did he say about the causes of the crisis? Uh, he said there's no one specific cause. He said it was a perfect storm, and he said the government was driving the bulk of it. He specifically uh, blamed government incentives uh, to promote home ownership and essentially uh, trigger a lot of unqualified borrowers to leverage up.